Hello everyone, this is Maria Young reporting live from Central Florida. Today we are going to be reviewing Miss Paris Hilton's line of perfumes. Oops, excuse me, oopsie. Um, and I have three actually here. Um, these came in a set. And um, I have Fairy Dust, which has a little cute little fairy on there, Blue Lid. Um, also have Siren, um, has a mermaid on there, and of course, is a lighter blue lid, pastel baby blue. Um, and also we have Can Can, which on here has a feather and a very fuchsia, very magenta type pink, very almost fluorescent type of pink. Okay. So before we begin the review, let's talk about Paris Hilton. Dun, 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 dun. Now, you know what? This is totally my opinion and my opinion alone. So all you Paris Hilton fans, don't start hating. Um, anyways, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on Paris Hilton. Um, one thing that I really can say about Paris is she's very, very fortunate to have wealthy parents. Because that's about all she has. <laughs> well, okay. Okay, one thing about Paris Hilton, I think she gets way more publicity than she deserves. Um, she's become a mega icon, which for what, I really don't know. Or I really don't feel she should have become as great as she is for the amount and level of talent that she has. Now, mind you, I will give her the credit. She's a very beautiful young lady. Um, definitely is excellent as a model. She's very expressive, definitely takes fantastic, fantastic pictures. So none taken away from you in that department. But, you know, she also tries to dip and dap into many different arenas. Um, one, of course, the acting, which, um, yeah, the acting. Um, really not very impressed by her. Um, nothing impressive in that department. And come on, be honest. You guys know she does not make a very good actor. Not even average. Um, way, 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 way below average. Sorry, Paris Hilton, you are not an actress. Okay, so now I've heard that she is also trying to sing. I don't know if that's true, but um, if she is, please don't. Please, please don't. Again, she's very fortunate to have very wealthy folks, um, but, you know, she lacks in a lot of departments. But one thing that I can say, even though, you know, first impression, she seems very ditzy, um, she doesn't really seem like she stands for anything, um, definitely doesn't have much to say or anything worthwhile to listen to when she says it. Um, I can say she is brilliant in the aspect of promotion and in the aspect of really getting herself out there because as you know she's great and mighty for what I don't know but she has caused and stirred up such a frenzy within the media so big ups to you baby girl because you're like a mega icon and um, really I mean you did good in that department so yay you okay Enough about Paris Hilton. Um, let's go ahead and review her colognes. Okay, let me see. Dee, 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 dee. Let's go ahead and do fairy dust first. Fairy dust. Okay, so when I think about fairy dust, the first thing I think about is, of course, Peter Pan. And I think about the dust that um, you sprinkle on and you can fly, you can fly, you can fly, I want to fly. Um, yeah, very magical, of course, very young. Um, I think of fairies being carefree, pixie dust, pixie dust. Um, so let me go ahead and smell this. Of course, I've already told you what I think of when I say the name fairy dust. Let me see if it stands up to the name. Wow, definitely does not stand up to the name. Um, when I smell this, I don't think of fairies. I don't think of magic, and I definitely don't think of whimsical. Um, this is an older scent, surprisingly. Like I said, when I think of fairy, I think of youthful. I think of being young. 
and um, I smell like coconutty. I don't know, maybe vanilla cashmere. It's it's a nice fragrance. Um, it smells rich. It smells um, sophisticated. I mean, it's not a bad smelling fragrance, mind you. It just doesn't match up to the name Fairy Dust. From a 1 to 10, I give it maybe a 6. I myself wouldn't wear it. Um, I don't know. It's just not me. Um, no. Um, maybe a 6 again. Okay, so that is Fairy Dust. Doesn't live up to the name. Doesn't live up to the promotion that she gave on that. Okay, next up is Can Can. And this has a feather on the front of it. So Can Can and it says um, yeah that's well Paris Hilton on the bottle but okay so when I see this I think of okay feather light um, and I've seen the promotion on this I think this is the one where she wears a white dress and um, kind of more vintage feel with a promotion more sophisticated and uh, let me see if it lives up to the promotion and the name. Oh, wow. Wow, this is different. Very sweet, very sweet, very sophisticated. I like this. I really, really like this. Um, I kind of smell like a cotton candy type of scent. Very, very small hint of that. Mixed with kind of maybe something citrusy um, you you definitely get floral tones on this one sweet but not overly sweet um, it's not overbearing um, it's something that you can actually wear every day um, it, when I smell it it smells sophisticated yet very, very fun. Um, I, I can see someone being on vacation and wearing this. I can see someone going to work and wearing this, maybe um, running around doing errands. I mean, this is like across the board where you can wear this on a daily basis. It smells very, very good. Um, from one to 10, I give this like an eight, um, very high up there. I like this and I definitely would wear can can by Paris Hilton okay moving on siren okay siren is the one that you see her in a mermaid outfit um, well dressed as a mermaid now when I envision mermaid I envision um, like an island scenery I envision a lagoon I envision the beach tropical and um, those are all of the the um, sights that I see when I, I think of mermaids. So let me see if it lives up to that. Oh, nice. Oh, very, very nice. Very crisp, very clean, very tropically. Oh, definitely, definitely, right on the money. Oh, this smells so good. I This is my absolutely favorite one, or absolute favorite one in the whole collection. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I can definitely dig this. Um, very nice. Um, you, you get light, light, light hints of the floral. I smell tropical in there. I just smell maybe a slight hint of fruity, but it's not overbearing on the fruity either. Just very crispy, very something that you would imagine on vacation or at the beach. I love this. I love this. Very flirty, very young, very carefree. Again, Siren, um, you really hit home with that, being in the mermaid outfit and everything. Um, just right on the money, guys. And this is my absolute favorite Siren. So these are the three. Um, of the perfumes. Of course, my favorite one would be the Siren. My second favorite one would be Can Can. Very sophisticated, very chic. 
Um, and my least favorite would be Fairy Dust. Not a bad smell again, but just really, really not my favorite at all by any means. And I don't know if I gave you the, yeah, I gave you the 1 through 10 on this one, um, giving her an 8, maybe even a 9 on this one. Um, fairy Dust, uh, 4, not too crazy about it. And 1 through 10 for Can Can, um, she gets like maybe a seven, seven, eight on that one. And again, Siren, my favorite. Okay, that's it, folks. I did my review on Miss Paris Hilton, and I'm going to do more reviews. My next one's going to be Miss Beyonce and her Rise cologne. So definitely stay tuned for more. This has been Maria Young reporting live from Central Florida, and make sure you guys subscribe. Have any comments, feel free, but always keep it positive, not into the negative, guys. So you guys <laughs> do... <laughs> Man, shut up! Oh, was that negative? <laughs> if you guys insist on being negative, you will be deleted. So, of course, keep it positive. Subscribe, picture Maria1 at YouTube. This has been Maria Young, reporting live from Central Florida. Back to you, because it's all about you.